Purple Gang, man. We got to talk about Kirk Cousins, man. You know what I mean? Like, this is the thing, man. I was just sitting back, right? So I'm watching this press conference that he had today, and I'm like, dog, like, this, why does Kirk Cousins make it so hard to hate him, man? Like, you know, we have our curb sessions and things like that, and we enjoy that over here, man. As Triple P, man, we like doing those, man. Those things are fun. Now, mind you, we always state that Kirk Cousins, as a character, as a man, a stand-up guy, man. You know what? And once again today, he proved it, okay? He proved that he knows he's playing on his contract. Yeah, he has to prove himself, but you know what? He's okay with that. He's still showing up at these un- these, these, these camps that aren't even mandatory, being the veteran that he is, man, sticking around with his guys. You feel me? And for that... You got to give Kirk Cousins his props, man. I just was sitting back thinking like, God dang, bro. Like, why do you make it so hard, man? But you know what? What we can't ignore is the play on the field. And it's crazy because watching this press conference, he actually stated some things that made a lot of sense talking about how wins are what's important. And when he sits back and he looks at it, when it's all said and done, that's what's going to matter the most, man. No, and I'm glad him out of the horse's mouth says it, man. Because when we say it, people think we're crazy that we're just dogging them. You know what I mean? But they came out of the horse's mouth now, okay? So now you got to just believe it. Now, one thing I don't like that he said, and I'm going to read this here. He said, I want to be in Minnesota. That's kind of a no-brainer, Cousins told reporters. So hopefully we can earn the right to do that. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you, Kirk, man. I'm going to say it again. As a person... Stand up guy, man, character, you know what I mean? Like you just carry yourself very well. But I don't want you to retire in Minnesota because as a fan of the Minnesota Vikings, I want to win a Super Bowl. And I just feel like you can't do that for us, man. You know what I mean? Now, this is the thing. We know we can almost predict what kind of season Kirk Cousins is going to have. Okay, we have enough evidence to show that. He can't probably ain't going to get much better than what he played last year and what he played in 2021. And he probably ain't going to get too worse. You know what I mean? Like he's going to be either right around the same area or maybe a notch down if he tends to hit some kind of wall. Okay, but this is the thing. He's going to be Kirk Cousins, man, in 2023. We know this. So my thing is this with Quasi them sitting back and Quasi them thinking about this whole contract thing going on. Like, is your decision already made, man? Because if I had to make a decision, of course I'm going quarterback in round one in 2024. It has to be done, man. We didn't do it this year. We got Jaron Hall in the fifth round, which, okay, at least we made a move on a quarterback, all right? Like I said before, I'm going to say it again. Do I see Jaron Hall being the starter for the Minnesota Vikings? Absolutely not. I mean, but there's still a possibility there, and we have to live off that, okay? There's a possibility there, man. Have hope as Vikings fans. That's what they've given us right now. But Kirk Cousins saying it's a no-brainer, wanting to, you know, retire in Minnesota, wants to be in Minnesota. Oh, no, there's a brand there. There's definitely a brand there, especially coming from the fans. Like, we love you as a person, man, but as our franchise quarterback, I think it's time to move on to a different style of play, okay? If we can get an athletic quarterback with your brain, maybe we can make something work. You know what I mean? Hey, you want to be the coach? Maybe we can make some work, man. Be the QB coach. I think you would actually be good at that. But let's talk about what he said about his contract and what it's like playing on a contract year because he said this isn't his first time. He said this This is my fourth time in the league going into a season with free agency on the horizon. He said my fourth year after my rookie contract, the two years in Washington after that, and now this. So I would just say to, I say that to say this, it's more the norm than the exception. The exception is that you have something penciled in for future years. Most of our locker room has no idea what is coming in three, in three or months. Don doesn't know what's coming in three months, let alone three or four years or next year. So I feel like I'm one of the guys, if you will. We're all in this thing together. And that's the way this league works, man. So, you know, and I respect what I respect that, like just having that having that kind of confidence, just, you know, kind of feeling like one of the normal people, because usually quarterbacks are locked in when you're supposedly the franchise quarterback. Now, for the people who say, well, Kirk is a franchise quarterback, he's our franchise quarterback, he wouldn't be in the position he's in right now if he was that, okay? Well, if Quasey felt that way, the Vikings organization felt that way, 
he wouldn't be playing in a contract year. He would have got extended. It is what it is. I mean, that's just the facts, okay? That's not opinions. That's facts. You know, do you think the Chiefs would let Patrick Mahomes play on, a con- on, on his last year of his contract? Absolutely not. It just don't happen, okay? Some quarterbacks will never play with one year left on their contract. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about Kirk Cousins. Do you sniff an extension coming soon? Is there really going to be an extension of Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings? I don't know, but if so, man, there's going to be a lot of curb sessions going on on Triple P. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. But again, man, I think it's time to move on in 2024, regardless of how he plays this season, bro. I'm going to keep it real. I don't care how he plays this season. I need a Super Bowl or bust, though. If you win a Super Bowl for us, bro, welcome back to the Minnesota Vikings. We riding for you. I'll hang the eight jersey up behind me. You feel me? Let me know how y'all feel about Kirk Cousins. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gon' do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toe switch. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm terrific. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage.